time for another video. This is a lesson on Polybox. It's part one of a two, two different lessons using Polybox in two different ways. In this way, we're gonna look at Polybox being used to take monophonic synthesizers that can only play one note and make it so you can play chords. It's also great for expanding a synthesizer that can only play, say, like five notes and making it so it can play, uh, if you go eight layers, it's 40 notes of polyphony, right? So let's start with getting a monophonic synth. And I happen to have a free one that you can find on the internet at blamsoft.com called Viking, VK1. If you hit download now and you say save to your desktop so it will download the file. Let's install this. I'm going to take you through the steps just so you can see how to do this. So double click, go to the Mac OS version, double click, say, okay, continue, install, move this over here so you don't see what I'm doing with my password and install, done. So it's installed it onto the computer, but Unified doesn't know where it is yet. So what you need to do is go to the plugins page and you go down here to operations. And instead of scanning all your plugins again, just select plugin files to scan because we just want to select one file for it to scan. And if we go over here to the VST folder, right here at the top of the list, there's VK1, double click, boom, done. <laughs> it now knows where it is. So now I can just right click here and go to VK1 and double click. And now I have a monophonic synth, right? Cool, can't play chords. Sounds really bad if I try to play chords. So since we have that, let's do this. Down the list, way, way, way down here, when you get to the T's, you will see that there's a whole bunch of tutorial templates. Here's the one that we want, polyphonic from mono. That's the one we want. And there's instructions here in step-by-step -step detail if you want to open up the, the save page and read them. But we can do it here as well. So if we just call this up, instead of... I have a mono synth here with Guru Sampler just set to uh, mono. But instead of doing it that way, let's use VK1. So right click and say VK, select it. Let's go over here to like the soft leads. And let's say soft leads. Oh, perk lead might be fun. That'd be cool as a chord. That'd sound really good. So all you have to do because you're using this template is turn on Polybox. It's already set to MIDI channel one and it's set to uh, listening to MIDI effect number one right here. And I have it set right now to be only four layers, but let's say I wanna make it eight voices of polyphony. So I click here and I say, no, I want it to be eight voice. So the pool size is eight voices. So over here on this far right, the last step is to click here and say duplicate seven duplicates of whatever sound you have in layer one. And by doing that, I now have I have an eight voice polyphonic 